I accidentally discovered the best keto brownie recipe, and I'm so excited to share it with you guys today. Now this brownie recipe is not like any other brownie recipe that you've ever seen. This is actually a brownie recipe that is nut free, seed free. Is it dairy free? It can be made dairy free. And there's only two grams of net carbs per brownie. And it's a big square. I'm talking about an actual big, large brownie square. And they're delicious. They're fudgy, chewy, and so rich and chocolatey, it's hard to even believe that these are keto and low carb. Like I said, we're not using any nut flours, avocado, anything like that. And so some of these ingredients might be a little strange for you, but I think they're good ingredients to have on hand, especially if you do like to do a lot of keto baking and a lot of different keto recipes. One of these strange ingredients that we're gonna use is inulin powder. And inulin powder is mostly fiber. It's actually a prebiotic. So there's zero net carbs in it. We're gonna be adding a half of a cup of inulin powder to a medium bowl, along with a quarter cup of protein powder. Now the protein powder I'm gonna use is a zero carb protein powder. I'll have it listed down below for you guys. Um, I'm using just the unflavored kind, but they do actually have different flavors that you could experiment with and then one teaspoon of egg white powder. You'll also need a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum and one teaspoon of salt. We're gonna whisk this together until everything's mixed up, and then we're gonna slowly add in half a cup of coconut milk. You wanna beat this until your mixture starts to get really just kinda of gooey. You can see when I pull out the blender that it just gets really goopy. That is perfect. That is gonna be the base of our brownie recipe. To this bowl, we're gonna add some more ingredients. Let's add our sweeteners. This will be a quarter cup of a monk fruit blend sweetener, along with a quarter cup of a brown sugar-free sweetener. So I'm gonna be using a monk fruit blend. You could use whatever kind you want. Next, we're gonna add in two eggs a quarter cup of unsalted softened butter, one teaspoon of vanilla, and then for the chocolate, I'm gonna be adding in one bag, which is seven ounces of sugar-free chocolate chips. And these are melted, so I melted them in the microwave for around 30 second intervals, stirring it in between until it's completely melted, and then we're gonna add that to our brownie mixture. Mix this up until it's combined, and then I'm gonna scoop this into a square baking pan that I've lined with parchment paper. We're gonna bake this in a 325 degree oven for around 25, 30 minutes, just until the brownies are set on top. Remove them from the oven once they're done and let them cool completely, then lift out your brownies just by grabbing the parchment paper and then cut them into squares. No joke, you guys, this is the best keto brownie recipe I have ever had. It is amazing and only two net carbs per serving too. I'll have the full recipe along with where you can get these ingredients down below, so make sure you check it out. 